Welcome back to the 10th episode of the Viking India campaign. There was another man I could take the land from the uh, previous commander. We have taken that land. He still has a bit over this way. A Vark party, that's his name. So we're going to go ahead and find some characters here to uh, take some of these titles. We're going to sort by age. We've already got everything else sorted up. This guy here is uh, a bastard of someone. Probably got some noble blood in him. Let's go ahead and give him a province there. Hopefully all this stuff will get converted nice and fast. We don't want to be waiting around too much now, do we? Let's just get it all converted, please, everybody. Another goodie here. Let's sort by age again. I like the uh, younger guys. They have more time to sort everything out. We've got a lot of land up here from the uh, lady as well. Hopefully these Norsemen can do their job. Jungar and this chap, Philip. We'll go ahead and grant them both. I forgot about this trick where you can just uh, do one and press backwards. That's my bad. How much land is there in the centre here? We got... Looks like just... Two. And then we got two more over here as well, so we do have to do four. Okay. Let's sort by age. One, two, three, four. Just sorting by age. Oh, wait, you actually got it. So, Frederick, we're going to grant you this one here. Uh, not the Gotti. Uh, Knut, we'll grant you this land over here, good man. Ulfa, you'll be granted this province here. And then, uh, Sunni, we can grant you that province there. Very good. So I need to let my levies rebuild for a little bit. We're not going to rush off this time. We do have a lot of people who can be ransomed, though. Uh, Countess, you, can you have land revoked? Yes, you can. County of Marot. Excellent. Just so. Then we could ransom you back. 165 gold. Very good. Uh, you are already out there. There's this guy. He's... Oh, let's pause the game. You just have a child. We'll let you take that. We have this prisoner. Yeah, sure. That's a lot of gold. Vassal and rival. Guputla off somewhere or rather. Can I just revoke land from you? Justly? No. This man is a tyrannical act. Oh, well. Let's ransom him for a load of gold then. He can't even afford it. Well, stay in jail. Uh, this chap. Where are you? Yaldam of Nobatia. Oh, he's going to give me a lot of land. Well, that's very nice. He's actually Norse. <laughs> yeah. yeah, not sure how. Um, great, so can we revoke any more? There is um, this man. What do you got? Big old Yaldam. Tyranny, but... Ooh, that looks a bit worth it. That's a lot of land up there he's got. But we'll leave him in jail for now. Can't revoke your land. Can't do anything with you. Where was the other one? You, you're the lady we already uh, have taken from, I believe. Yeah, the lady up there. Okay. Well, that's going to get us out of debt, and then we do have a lot of titles to get rid of again. Looks like another five. So uh, good for us. We're going to pick another five guys to take your land. You got Jungver, you got Sulvi, you got Gufrid, you got Frederick, and you got Angria, and you got Magnus. I think I choose chose one too many there. That's my bad. Where are their lands? Oh. Oh, that's my land. Where are these other titles? Not in India. Oh, looks like we've got some guys around here that uh, had to lose their titles. Arangmir will give you something here. Yeah, it looks like this that land actually rose up as well. Frederick, you got a bit of pox, but I'm sure you'll survive. Yeah, they're actually uh, all down this way. That's not what I thought. I was about to get myself into. But that's a lot of new lords. Good for them. Good for them indeed. Lots and lots of new vassals. And somewhere has converted to Norse. We'll go ahead and continue that down in the region. I just want this entire island to be Norse. Maybe leave the guys in the middle. Not too fast entirely. Religion is spreading. Not all over. Norse culture looks like they've done a bit of that down there. Because that was not me. We really want the religion, though. If this was all our Satru, that would be a great thumbnail. Otherwise, I've got to do the Empire of Norse down here. Now, let's try and uh, tidy up these borders. But wait, you're... Defending against him in his conquest of... Trikan. Trikanda. Well, he's definitely weaker than you, so I don't think uh, he's going to be doing too well. we just got to get out of debt, and then we'll invade this guy for something... Not entirely sure yet. We've got to get out of the debt. Uh, this guy would give me 16. Get me out of it. You there would give me 100. Uh, the money's more important to me right now. Let's let's get out of debt. 
Right, you there. Declare war for the... I could just take over his entire kingdom if I wait for exalted among men. That is a lot. And you're a Dutch on this guy. What duchy could I get off this guy? Oh no, it's going to be two duchies, isn't it? With Orangulu there. Oh, jeez, it's going to be free. Or you do the whole war for all four of these provinces, but that's not good. We could use all. We could use a kingdom tier to take over the whole of Pagan over here. The entirety of Pagan. Or they could do that with another character. This is the Indian invasion. That isn't exactly India. That's Burma. So maybe we'll use the kingdom to take all of this land here. And then something else over this guy. Actually, if we... Oh, that's, that's a lot more land. But it's more efficient if I can do... Uh, I can do this in two wars. The other one, that's going to take four wars to do these four provinces. So maybe that with the kingdom would be the best place. Whereas you would just go for a duchy. Let's do it. Let's get involved here. We'll raise our army up over there on this end. Good. Am I still in that crusade? Yeah, we're actually winning it somehow. We're going to raise our forces here. It's going to take seven months, and we're going to march over and destroy this guy. In fact, he doesn't have that much of an army, so what we'll do... Save him from uh, sieging out my relative there. We're going to march over and deal with him. And raise everyone else up the rear. These are most of the Indian forces. Good, we have scared him off. Oh, actually, uh, don't give the bit there. But we'll catch him. He will be caught. Right, who even are you? You're in Agmagadur. So you're probably with your army. Yeah, you're with the army. Okay. There's a little bit of a glitch here. It shows that my army's the one leaving. Or at least it looks more like it's my army leaving and his is the one staying. It's not. It just it looks that way. Okay, well, let's... Let's take, take a siege. It's only these two provinces. We can set you guys to take that. Split in half. You're going to go after the Daimer here. You guys are going to go after the Daimer over here. I'm not sure which is the capital and it doesn't tell me. Development 23, development 23. They're both the same. You pay more tax. We're going to send them over there. As for you guys, you're going to stay right here. Which is actually something I do want to siege. I don't want to lose 100 guys going after his capital, but I could do it. I really could do it. Only got five months left here, though, so we will remain on this province while we uh, while we wait. We'll just wait out here and then go after the capital, so we don't lose a hundred men. But a hundred men are this numbers. It's not really something to worry about. Humble, humble daughter. Well done, Sophia. So my daughter and potential heir is you. You're twenty married to this guy. You already have two children, and then there is my heir proper, Henry. We also have Aaron Bjorn, who I could disinherit. And that'll cost us a bit of stuff. 150 and 300. That's not really too much. We can always reinstate him later. Let's do it. We only have one heir. That's the way I like it. Just have him take over everything. We can always uh, grant the disinherited child some land. Dangerous faction. Again, who who is it? Install Jarl Podolfa. Which one is Podolfa? This is Podolfa. He is my brother. My brother wishes to instate himself, and he's got quite a lot of guys on his side here. What if he was disinherited? Would he? He would still have a claim, wouldn't he? What if we had a uh, truce? I have a half sister. I have a son, you have a daughter. You would accept it. Let's hope it goes through before he launches this. Uh, as for this, go for a run. Is he not part of this faction? Is he just a claimant? Who, who is the leader of this faction here? A faction member, faction member, faction member, faction member. Who are you? Kreetheim. Ay, yeah, yeah. I don't think I can get all these guys out. Shows their strength, though. If 
think that makes you the most powerful. Let's go ahead and get a marriage between us then. I have a half-sister and niece, you have a boy. That'd be a truce, right? Then we got you. Arrange marriage. Granddaughter, son, and player heir. Granddaughter, son. We could always break it later on. Granddaughter, he doesn't even have anyone. Uh, you there. Arrange marriage, what we got. Granddaughter, nothing. And of course, daughter isn't going to change it. Son and player heir, nothing. Uh... Yeah, it's nothing we can do with him. This guy, you have a boy. Let's arrange a marriage then. We got a granddaughter and you've got a son. You there, arrange marriage. You have a granddaughter, she is, or a daughter, she is seven. I have a son who is seven. Countess, you don't look too promising. This Jarl does, he has a daughter there, but she's already taken. You have a grandson. Oh, they're of the incorrect religion. Ah. Well, that's no good. Otherwise, it's Cree time. He does have a daughter. He's got a son as well. Arrange marriage. I do have more daughters than sons. Granddaughter he wouldn't take. Okay, let's, let's see what this uh, this lot here does. Because that's going to be a fair few alliances. That's going to really chop down the power a bit. Aha! Well, apparently not. This faction is going to kick off. Will all become his vassal. Um, the Empire of the Norse becomes independent. He's already independent. I suppose he'll be independent from me. Would I become his vassal? However, we've got to not be uh, done here. Can we? We can't imprison him. Could try to murder my own brother. Doesn't look too promising, but it would end the war. Disinherit? That wouldn't do it, I don't think. Uh, I will not be threatened here. We got a quite a war popping up now. Rally the troops. Quite a war indeed. We still haven't even finished this here. So their forces are all over the place, my goodness. All, all of India, really. Not all of Egypt. Egypt is still quite together. But the war goal leader is... Is you. Diamond. You're there, but where's your title? Ah, you're this guy. Well, that's a shame. We made you powerful, and now you betray our family for... For our family, of course, but... I'm still not happy about that, sir. Not happy about that at all. You're gonna move this army down this way, though. Keep an eye on all these guys. I nope, didn't quite capture their leader. That would have been the uh, ideal strat there. Just got to keep an eye on these armies, make sure nobody comes after them. We can see all down this coast, though, so we should be able to keep a good eye on it. Carefree, stress gain, faithful, clergy opinion. Let's go with clergy opinion. And then uh, a steward will give that to me, whoever is the best for the job out of the high tier companions. 54. What's he done to earn 54? 50 odd days, 30 months. Well, we still got a long time on these sieges here. Hopefully the capital does a good job. Right, 100%. We took their new... or their air. We took their air, that's what we did. Okay, well let's go to my second son, the disinherited poor boy. And let's grant him both of these titles. He can have both, I don't mind. Right, so at war of all of this part of India. His main army's there with 6,000 strong, and it's going south. So let's get all of our units together. Around here, we can maybe try and deal with those guys. Okay, three months. Well, let's get all of you to amass here instead. And we'll get to whoever else can rise up to rise up over on this side. Is there anybody we can call to war here at all? We can ransom prisoners. Negotiate in lines with Prince Arnbjorn. Sure. Too many held duchies. Ah, that's probably screwed me over a little bit there. Let's have a look at my duchies then that I hold. Kingdom in there, Kingdom of Inland, Yaldum of Dakaria, something or rather. Oh, right. Yes, well, I should hold that. 
Yardam of Cairo, yes. Yardam of Gunjura something or rather. Oh, right. I took that land off that fella, didn't I? Oh, you uh, are one option. He's another option. We could give it to him. He is a Norseman straight away. Yardam of that. Enjoy, sir. You're in a bit of a war. Okay, I think we are outnumbered and there's no one else I can get involved here. We managed to get some people out. What about Lion's Power? What would you give me? Novara Hus. A couple of thousand guys. They could come in handy if we called them down. Excellent, let's call him to war. Come on down. Get involved, boy. -o. He wants me to join his war, though. Enemies. Out. Oh. <sighs> On decline. I decline. Slipping away. Yeah, I have better things to do. I really do. It's called putting down these chaps. We can get back to building the empire. They just don't like me. 9,000 strong, though. Pretty good. Let's go and uh, take out this force here. And then there's the main army down this way, which is smaller than us but they're going to have a lot more champions I'd think well I know they are of course going to have a lot more champions how the fuck did he get away oh no longer perfect alright maybe if I did try and kill off my brother that might be the wise thing to do here Try to murder him. 7% over 8 years. It's not great. I don't have the money to uh, get others involved. Though there's a few that would be close. If I did have the money, I could get them in. Anybody got money for me? One character. Oh, that was close though. Somebody around here has got to have something for me. 47, I'll take it. Because now I can go further into debt. If we go to Intrigue... Let me go to my brother here. Anybody who can bribe? No. Really? I don't have the... If I have the amount to cover the highest bribe, then I can do them all at once and I go into debt. So let's try and find a bit more money. 130 there. You got anything for me? No. But this is, this is going to get us quite high. Uh, where's the uh, the one thirty gold I was promised? I was promised one thirty gold. What happened to it? He was quite high up. Is it not you? No. For a favor? What do you mean for a favor? That's not how this works. How this works is we are at war, and I need money right now to kill my brother, who I like and is allied to me. Alright, let's put these guys down now. Alright, alright, alright. Main armies are all landing down this way. Let's let's get down down there and see if we can start to pop them off. We're gonna be outnumbered by special event troops and well, not special event troops, the uh their special troops. And everyone else. Let's go down this way, try and uh, take out some of these stacks if we can. Although they have split up a bit. Right, they're going to go over there and they're going to outnumber us. If we go. They're actually leaving. Okay, let's hope we can catch some guys here though. It doesn't look like we can. That's a shame. But they have lost even more. We're going to want a white piece. So maybe taking these caps is the thing to do then. Sail around. Let's go and uh, take his capital and hope for a white piece. Shouldn't be that hard to take. Level 3 fortress. No, we can take it very easily. Let's hope that this is the way to do it. A white piece through taking his capital. Then we can try and get out of this, uh, this debt. 130 gold for you. 130 gold for you. I don't want to try and kill my brother, but I do want that money. 
Yeah, we're at war, of course. Court. Uh, no, we want intrigue. Yeah, let's get rid of this scheme. I don't want to be trying to kill my brother. That's madness. Absolute madness. What I want is this castle here taken. And we took potentially his heir. White piece. Offer white piece. Perfect. He will take it. Beautiful. Exactly what we need. Let's uh, disband the army there. Let's take 10 months, whatever. Let's go to factions. Let's try and hope that it doesn't come up again. There's a lot of guys here who cannot join factions. Is there a way to get my brother to renounce his claim, perhaps? Denounce. All our members will get an imprisonment reason against him. Or disinherit. But he's still got all of these claims. I don't know how I can get him out of it. I don't think I can. Either way, we are now at peace. Peace. And the uh, crusade is going well. There's a lot of their forces over here, though. Looks like they might not be going well for too long. I might have to... See, I've only got this one province of risk here, so I'm not about to lose my entire army going through there. Especially not when, if I do lose my army, these guys are just going to raise up anyway. Estonia? Estonia? How on... Oh, well, Estonia has inherited land down here. And it uh, looks like an ugly crescent on my land. Oh, well, that'll do for this episode. When you come back, we will... Uh, we're exalted, my man, aren't we? Oh, very, very close. We're going to become exalted in one exalted among men and then we're going to take these four provinces here that'll really tidy up the empire of india it'll uh, look great it really will empire of the norse i should say so the religion hasn't come through too much the culture neither we are trying you are still yeah you got t 16 months left wherever you are over here and you are doing yours a few years at a time Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you are enjoying the content. I will see you guys next time. Thank you again. And uh, goodbye.